574. Leave me, guide me. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire, flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. 
When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. He answered, Here I am. God said, Come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. The cry of the children of Israel that has reached me, and I have truly noted that the Egyptians are oppressing them. Come, now, I will send you to Pharaoh to lead my people the children of Israel out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? He answered, I will be with you, and this shall be your proof that it is I who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain, the word of the Lord. Yes. Yes. A responsorial song ends, The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Himself. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks about His relationship to the Father, and also in today's Gospel we hear the prayer of Jesus to his Father about pride. Jesus' prayer contains a warning that pride can keep us from the love and knowledge of God. You see, pride is inordinate love for oneself at the expense of others. 
Pride makes us superior than others. Pride can blind us of the goodness of God. Pride makes us ignorant about God. You see, pride can be in the form of intellectual display or pride. Pride also is the coldness of heart. Pride can be in the form of stubbornness of our righteousness and our own will. Pride is the root of all vices and leads us to sin. So today's gospel invites us to relate, to operate, or to function and relate with others, or relate to others with humility and simplicity and not pride. Keep in mind that God opposes the pride, but give grace to the humble and simple. So let us pray for the grace that God may remove pride in our heart so that we can see God and understand God's will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As a community, let us all present our needs before our God. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all who lead the church, may God grant them wisdom and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, may God infuse them with His spirit of unselfish love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all who live with disillusionment or despair, May God strengthen them with His love and feed them with His grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are challenged with chronic physical, emotional, or mental illness, may God send His comfort to lighten their burden. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died marked with the sign of faith, may God welcome them into their eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are God. And for today's Mass is offered for Catherine Miller, Linda and Daya, for Romel B. Daria, Lydia Daria, and Saturnino, Saturnino Villa. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we love you. Let us pause in silence for our personal needs and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we love you. Heavenly Father, we feel your Spirit's presence in our daily life. With gratitude and trust, we ask you to hear these petitions placed before you. And we ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Let 
Let us all stand and pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. My Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of His Son, and the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for good of Holy Church. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by, the, by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Oh, yours. Lift up your hearts. We are lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving in itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you with joy. Together we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Oh, Sana and I bless you who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, Sana and I You are indeed holy, O oh Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all your faithful people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Padre P, and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart we say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
पूर्वी वास्तव अश्वी पूर्वी दूर We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power are you now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am the word of the nation and the word of my Lord. Lord, I say the word of my Lord. Lord, I say the shall be you.
us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by, your, by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Praise be to God. And for our closing this joy in singing 607, a mighty fortress inside of God. 607.